Hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update on the Revisor V1 portable computer here. It is a deck based around a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, let me just power up here while we're talking. It's got a mechanical keyboard. Um, 7 inch touch screen um, and a 30,000 milliamp hour battery pack in there. Um, I'll just boot it up. Now right now everything's loading upside down because uh, I haven't had a chance to get in there and fill around with that. Um, so you know, you've got your screen. We've got the trackpad built in on the side um, and on the side here you've got your USB 3 and your audio jack. Uh, we've got a button on the side. It's not hooked up to anything right now but I'm going to be playing around with that in the near future. Uh, this I just have to set it There we go. We're flipped right around nice. Um, I've got i3 running on there. It's nice and simple for right now. Um, on the side, for the power, you've got your battery pack. Right on the side, we've just got the two separate connections. I've got two separate connections because I've got one specifically for the screen, and I've got one for the Pi itself. Um, reason being that I was running into issues where you had to have the screen on, otherwise it would try to run headless. So it was just easier to separate everything out like that. Let me just close this real quick so I can flip this around. On um, the back here you've got your battery pack. Um, it's just a RAV power. I've made this all modular so if you have a separate battery pack you can design and print your own piece. Um, this is going to have a piece that goes solid over this. Um, I made that so I can add all kinds of doodads in there. Um, same with this back opening here. Um, eventually I want to make a modular system where you could slide cartridges in and out for different sensors and things. Um, for right now I'm just going to put a plate on the back for that as well. Um, let me show you how that battery comes out. It's pretty simple. Let me kill this. Okay, so to remove the battery, um, I designed it so it's got this accessible on top. You've got your button so you can check your power levels. Um, real quick, nice and easy, super simple. Um, if you want to disconnect this and take it out, plug it in somewhere separate or have separate battery packs so you can charge one, use one. You've got the just removable bolt right in there. That just threads right in the top nice and easy. Um, I usually just back that out a little ways just to slide right out nice and easy. Um, the other thing is if you wanted to put it in like this, now from that same opening you've got the ability to charge it while it's in the back there you just can't check you know the level obviously um, so one or the other um, the other cool thing is that I made this pass through so you can get right in there um, fiddle with things you've got your USB connections I tried to do as many connections in here just keep the original USB just because I didn't feel like having these permanently soldered in there so I can switch stuff out I change my mind every three seconds so it's a lot easier that way um, and in here as well you've got the back plate that can be removed so you have access in here as well. Um, now, what I did in here, let me get that camera lined up nice. Uh, can't really see it too, too well. In there, I've just got the fan on, on top of that heat sink. I just glued it right on because why not? Let's keep it simple. Um, but the end goal here is going to be to have a modular system where you can have some cartridges 
pop right in the back. Think like a Game Boy cartridge or something like that, but they're going to be 3D printed cartridges that are designed around specific sensors and things. So if you want a sensor and you want it to um, check temperatures, different things like that, whatever you, whatever you want to use this for, you pop it in. The different pins will correspond with the different GPIO pins on the Pi. Good to go. So that's my long-term goal for this thing, is to be able to have it swap in and out. But that's, uh, that's a little ways away. Um, the other thing that I'm working on right now is I've already made the attachment points here and on the other side here. We've got different attachment points for future uh, expansions and projects here. Um, but this is all open right in here too for access on the side. Uh, the last thing, I did have a USB hub in here at one point with some buttons to try to toggle things on and off. Um, but I just found it easier to wire in, um, you know, just regular plain old switches. Uh, this panel, you know, is removable if we want to have more than one. Um, I'll just print off a new one and we could have three switches, four switches. I could probably fit five in there if I'm getting a little wild, but I don't know what I would use that many for. Um, this is also removable. Um, so you, with this side plate here, if you take this off, um, you can get to the little SD card in there. Um, All right, with the uh, keyboard, what I did is I took a existing mechanical keyboard, um, took the back plate off of it, and I just basically Velcroed it. Got two uh, strips of the industrial Velcro on there. Um, it's connected with a USB-C um, right in there that tucks right under. Um, and even the keyboard itself can be removed. It's in there pretty well. I am afraid to actually pry it back out. That Velcro might be a little bit overkill, um, so it's not going anywhere, but um, I think in the next iteration of this, I might just take the, uh, have some standoffs and actually attach it with the screws from the existing uh, back plate that was on this, but for now it's just easier to, um, to have the Velcro on there. It holds perfect. It doesn't move, it doesn't wobble, and it's, it's really solid, so that's what we're going for on that. Um, other than that, that's about it for right now. Um, i still got some work to do on it, but that is the uh, Reviser V1 um, in the beginning of 2020. So we'll see uh, how it goes uh, throughout the year, and we should be able to wrap this up pretty soon. I'll have uh, more updates on uh, Reviser.com for you guys. I'm going to get to start getting these STLs together um, and get the files ready for other people to try to print if that's something you're interested in. Um, oh, the uh, the clasps that I used. Um, these were actually a uh, model. I think they were like a, they called them like a delta or just a triangle clasp. I can't remember what they were called, but I'm going to, uh, I'll post to the original one. Um, they were originally just meant for a regular buckle style, but I kind of incorporated them into the design to hold, you know, this whole bracket together. Um, and just put them, built them right into the bracket, but it's a pretty clever design. You just got the uh, push. Let's pop this up. This pops right in, just like that. Release it, push that down, pops out. Um, it holds pretty well. Can't yank that out. It's, it's good. It's in there. And this is just, you know, a pressure, pressure plate on there to hold that on. Um, and then on this side, I just did some regular regular little buckle on there to hold that in. Nice and simple, nice and easy. I tried to use parts that everybody can get. Tried to use um, as many USB connected pieces in there and uh, just try to make it as simple as possible because I have no idea what I'm doing. So stay tuned. Um, let me know if you see anything that could be uh, improved upon. Let me know of uh, anything that you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.